Well, hello and welcome to this video series. I am Jennifer Campbell, your online systemic leadership mentor. And in this short video series, I want to share with you a systemic and strategic approach to diversity that you can leverage to shape diversity beyond the numbers game, create an inclusive work culture, and enhance your organization's performance. Hello, Jennifer Campbell here, your online systemic leadership mentor. During today's five minute, the power of strategic diversity video, I really want to talk to you about a second thing that is crucial in a systemic and strategic approach to diversity and inclusion in your organization. I'd like to go over a process you can use to continually learn how to detect which knowledge, skills, and behaviors are different from the norm in your team, for example, but at the same time are assets to your team's and organization's performance levels. And that's all bundled up in the term called positive deviance. Now, positive deviance is based on the belief that in every team, organization, or community that suffers from deep-rooted problems, there are some individuals who are innovative in dealing with the issue. Now, despite having access to the same resources, these individuals have developed ways of dealing with the problems at hand. Now, through the process of learning their solutions and behaviors, these can be shared for the benefit of the whole organization or community. Now, before going into positive deviance with you, I would really like to share with you this first, and that is that in general, most managers and leaders in organizations are very focused on where things go wrong. We analyze what goes wrong and why, and then we try to fix it. We don't necessarily look at what goes well. Now, especially in times of change, it's very unlikely that only a few things go wrong and that everything else is outstanding. Usually, the entire organization is in flux, is in the process of trying to create an increase in its overall performance level. But the downside of that is, if you focus on who or what did things wrong, can may lead to exclusion of individuals in the process, but at the same time, it may not necessarily lead to an increase in your performance. So we need to make a shift from the linear to the perspective and look at the whole. How can positive deviance help with this? And what does this have to do with diversity? Now, as a leader, you try to solve a major problem in your organization then it's really important that this problem is widely recognized and acknowledged. This is a first step in the positive deviance process. And um, once you have that down, it's important to look at all the different solutions that have been adopted in your organization to address the issue. And the individuals who have adopted behaviors that are different from the norm, but um, that created positive outcomes or they outperformed their peers, these are then identified as positive deviants. Now, instead of eliminating the unusual suspects, we need to understand what it is that they found that we didn't find and that it's an opportunity for the organization. So positive deviants, thoughts, patterns, behaviors, and solutions um, can be looked at as an opportunity. It's not about making them outcasts or celebrities, on the other hand. It's an opportunity for your organization. So if one person with no difference in status or resources from their peers can get to the solution, then other employees can do this too. Now, having identified the strategies of positive deviance, the organization or the team can choose to approach the problem by using these strategies. And then you can design activities to help spread the information or skills required amongst other employees or team members. And this is not necessarily about teaching best practices. It's much more about fostering a new mentality by acting into a new way of thinking and approaching the problems. And then you can work according to these designed activities. You can also assess progress over time, what the impact of this approach 
to the problem actually delivers for the entire organization. Now with this process, you can leverage the diversity of the positive deviant individuals beyond the individual benefit and go to the whole performance, the whole per performance benefit of your organization. So if you enjoyed this video and if you'd like to hear more in the Power of Strategic Diversity video series, then make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you'll be notified when future videos become available. You can also go to my website, jennifercampbell.com and learn more about tools, programs, and services that can help you grow strong and healthy teams and organizations. Until the next video, I'd like to remind you of our company motto. Let's build strong living human systems one system at a time. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.